Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope that you all are doing great. Welcome to your channel Maths D1 D2 Scientific Academy. Uh, today our lecture is related to chapter 11 which is uh, Triangles, Quadrilaterals and Polygons. Your book is New Slavis Mathematics 1 and I am going to explain you question number 6 uh, of exercise 11 C. So before starting the lecture, I would request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe the channel. Alright, let's come to the lecture. Question number 6 is find the number of sides of a regular polygon if each interior angle of the polygon is OKG. Each interior angles are given, you have to find out the number of sides of a regular polygon. Students, remember that as interior angles are given, so... Uh, we can find out the number of sides if we know the sum of angles if we know the each exterior angles because we can find out the number of sides of a regular poly polygon by dividing sum of exterior angles with each exterior angle so here in this question each interior angle is given you have to find out the very first step is you have to find out each uh, interior each exterior angle and then you have to divide that each exterior angle with sum of exterior angles which is 360 okay i'm going to tell you the method okay here the first part is 140 degree okay this is each interior angle first you have to convert this into each exterior angle so how would you do it each exterior angle what you will do it you will divide this 140 from 180 degree as you know that angles on a straight line, let's suppose that you are having a shape which is triangle and you are having two angles, the interior angle and the exterior angle. The angle which is inside the shape is interior angle and the angle which is outside the shape is exterior angle. You know that these are the adjacent angles. These are on the straight lines and these are the adjacent angles. So adjacent angles on a straight line are equal to uh, 180 degree. Sum of adjacent angles is equal to 180 degrees. So if we know that first angle, let's suppose that as this is interior angle is given, which is 140. Okay, so we can find out this each exterior angle by subtracting this 140 from 180 because the sum of these two adjacent angles is equal to 180. So when we will subtract 140 from 180, we will get this exterior angle. So this concept you should keep in mind and by uh, using this concept, I'm subtracting 140 from 180 and I will get 40 degree. Okay, I'm going to raise it. Okay, students, so when you will subtract each uh, interior angle from 180, you will get each exterior angle, and which is 40 degree. Okay, now you have found each exterior angle. Now, what you will do is, you will find out number of sides by dividing 360 with each exterior angle. Now, what is this 360? Okay, G. remember that sum of exterior angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degree remember that sum of exterior angles of you can write down over here that these are the sum of exterior angles sum of exterior angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degree so when we will subtract each exterior angle with sum of exterior angles we will get number of sides of polygon now when we will divide 360 with 40 we will get nine the number of sides are nine okay stress so i hope that this concept is clear to you now let's come to b part which is 162 degree okay students now in b part each interior angle is given which is 162 degree now you will find out each exterior angle and you can find out each exterior angle by subtracting this each interior angle from 180 okay so i'm subtracting 162 from 180 when i will subtract 162 from 180 i will get 18 degree now this is each exterior angle as you know that sum of exterior angles are equal to 360 degrees so when we will divide sum of exterior angle with each exterior angle we will get number of sides so now when we will divide 360 with 18 i will get 20 so the a polygon is having 20 sides okay the students c and d parts are just like in b part i hope that you will be able to do it yourself now let's come to question number seven okay the question number seven are if the sizes of the interior angles of a pentagon are 2x 3x 4x 5x and 6x find the largest interior angle of the pentagon 
students remember that a pentagon is a shape which is having five sides so it means that the sides are five and first the very first step is you have to find out the sum of angles okay so sum of interior angles sum of Uh, we can find out some of interior angles of a pentagon the formula is you know that uh, the sum of angles uh, sum of interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree and uh, sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree but except these two shapes you want to find out the sum of interior angles of any polygon so we have to use the formula which is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree now what is n students n is basically number of sides number of sides okay so in place of this n i'll put the sides and n is equal to as it's a pentagon so it's having five sides okay gee. so n is equal to five so in place of this five i'll put five in place of this n i'll put five and substitute its value now five minus two is three 180 degree and uh, when I will multiply 3 1 180 3 with 180 I will get 540 degrees so sum of interior angles of a pentagon is equal to 540 degree now the angles are given so you have to add them because sum of interior angles of a pentagon is equal to 540 degree so the angles are 2x 3x 4x 5x and 6x 2x 3x 4x, 5x, and 6x is equal to 540 degree. Now add up all these angles. 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 14, and 14 plus 6 is 20. So 20x degree is equal to 540 degree. We have to find out the value of x. So this 20 is multiplying with x. When we will go to the other side, it will divide. So 540 degree divided by 20 will be equal to 27 degree. Okay. Gee. So this degree and degree will cut each other. The value of x is 27. Okay, students, so I hope that uh, question number 7 is clear to you. Okay, gee. now let's come to question number 8. Okay, students, before starting, before moving to the next question, uh, the one part of question number 7 is left and that is, they are saying that find the largest interior angle of the pentagon. Here you can see that these are all the interior angles. So this is the largest interior angle, which is 6x. So we have to find out the largest interior angle. So we'll find out, we will say that largest interior angles equal to 6x degree so in place of x i'll put its value which is 27 so 6 multiplied by 27 so when we will multiply 6 with 27 we will get 162 so this is the largest interior angle the largest interior angle was 6x degree so i have substituted the value of x which is 27 and when i multiplied 6 with 27 i got 162 degree Okay, students, now move forward to question number 8. Okay, students, question number 8 is the exterior angle of a triangle are 3 by 4 by 5 by find the value of y. This is the first part. And second part is find the smallest interior angle of the triangle. So, students, first we will find out the first part. Uh, remember that sum of exterior angles are equal, uh, this sum is equal to 360 degree okay so we will add up the angles and the angles are given which are 3 by 4 by and 5 by 3 by 4 by and 5 by sum of exterior angles is equal to 360 degree okay so we will add up these three sides and when i will add 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 by Okay, 360 degree. Now this uh, 12 is multiplied with y. When we go to the other side, it will divide. As 12, 3 is a 36, so this is 30 degree. So y degree is equal to 30. When I will divide 360 with 12, I will get uh, 30. Okay. Degree and degree will cut each other. So the value of y is 
thing. So this was the first part. And the second part here, they are saying that find the smallest interior angle of the triangle. I'm doing the second part over here. Now we have to find out the smallest interior angles. Class uh, students, you know that <coughs> you can find out uh, the interior angles if each exterior angle is given by subtracting that uh, exterior angle from 180 degree. So here uh, we have to find out the smallest. So what you will do it? Smallest interior angle. So what you will do it? You will subtract the biggest. You will subtract the biggest exterior angle from 180. Then you will get the smallest interior angle. As you know that you can find out the interior angle, each interior angle, if uh, by subtracting the exterior angle from 180 degree. But as they are saying that you have to find out the smallest interior angle. So you will subtract the largest. When you subtract the largest exterior angle, then you will find out the smallest interior angle. So the largest interior angle. Uh, so the largest exterior angle is. Pi by degree. So you will subtract the largest exterior angle from 180 to get the smallest interior angle. Okay, G. minus 5 y degree. What is the value of y? Which is 30. So 180 degree minus 150 degree is equal to 30 degree. So when I will subtract 150 from 180, I will get 30 degree. And when I multiply 5 30 5 with 30, I got uh, 150 degree. Okay, so I hope that uh, this concept is clear to you and uh, now let's move forward to the next question okay which is question number nine okay so question number nine is three of the exterior angles of an n-sided polygon are 15 25 and 70 and the remaining exterior angles are 50 degree each find the value of you know that sum of exterior angle uh, is equal to 360 degrees. So you will make them equal to 360 degrees. Three exterior angles are given which is 15 degrees plus 25 degrees plus 70 degrees plus and they are saying that the remaining exterior angles are 50 degrees each. Remaining, be, uh, remaining means the angles which are left. So here these are the three angles and the total sides are given which were uh, which is n okay because it's written that n sided polygon so the total sides are n so when you will subtract these three from the total sides you will get the remaining sides remaining exterior angles so these three angles are there and when you subtract these three angles these three from the total angles the total angles are n so you will get the remaining angle so these are the remaining angles and they are saying that 50 degree each it means that you will multiply this with 50 and as you know that sum of exterior angles is equal to 360 degree sum of exterior angles is equal to 360 degree now i'm going to solve it when i will add up 15 25 and 17 i will get 110 degree Okay, now I will solve this bracket. This 50 is multiplying with these both numbers of the bracket. First, we will multiply 50 with them and you will get 50 and now you will multiply this 50 with 3 minus 53 is our 150 is equal to 360 degree. Now, what you will do it, this is 110 and this is minus 150. You will solve these two terms together. Write this 50 and as it is. Okay, 110 minus 150 will be equal to minus 40 degree. Oh, okay. This 40 subtracting over here, when it will go to the other side, it will add. Now when you will add 40 in 360, uh, you will get 400. Okay, so this 50 is multiplying with them, it will go to the other side, it will divide. Now the zero and zero will cut either five uh, will cut and five fades are forty. So n is equal to eight. So here we have found the value of n which is eight. I hope that this concept is clear to you. Let's revise. They are saying that uh, three of the exterior angles of n side polygon are these, and the remaining as these are the three the total angles were n. So you will subtract three from and you will get the remaining angles. And they are saying that remaining angles are 50 each. So you will multiply these remaining angles with 50. And as you know that sum of exterior angles are equal to 360 degrees. So you will make them equal to 360 degrees. And when you will solve them, you will get the value of n. Okay, G. 
Oh, students, I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. I will do the practice of these sums. When you will do the practice of these sums, then this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.